Are you sure we should chuck away the detention book, Dennis? Of course! If Mrs Creecher hasn't got it, she won't know when we're in detention. And I'm in for the rest of the year. Yeah, but we're not. <laughs> What are you boys doing? You know you're not allowed here. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Creecher. Uh, we were just looking for um, uh, uh, me old skateboard. Weren't we, Pie Face? Yeah. Here we are. Ah! <laughs> now, pay attention. Here's an important message from the mayor. Good morning, class. I am pleased to announce that Beano Town School has been chosen to test a new administration system. No more wasteful paper. Everything's been computerized. But remember, it's vital that you follow the computer's instructions to the letter. Here's my new laptop. Excellent! <laughs> This memory stick holds all the information you need. Diaries, timetables, records, everything. Now, all the info has been transferred to your laptop. Amazing! Now, all we have to do is consult the computer to see what we're doing next. There. You're all set. Thank you. Did he say... Every bit of information's in the stick, Mrs. Creature. Yes, Dennis. Including all your detentions. Plus a new one for mucking about by the bin this morning. Oh, not fair! And Curly and Pieface will be joining you. Eh? Nice one, Dennis. All afternoon in detention, thanks to you. At least you're not stuck in there forever like I am. Hey! This is the memory stick that guy had. He must have dropped it. So? So maybe we should take a little trip to the computer room. Wow! How wicked is that? It's the master program for Mrs Creature's new system. Does that mean you can delete it? Don't be daft! Why delete it when you can change it? It's time school was fun! Settle down, please. Let's see what's in store for us today. I think it's our history test this morning, Mrs Creature. Oh, it's been cancelled. Yay! <laughs> That's appalling, Mrs Creature. Walter, you heard what the mayor said. We must follow the computer's instructions exactly. Now, what else has changed? Oh, all detentions cancelled. Pies and ice cream for lunch. Oh, and there's a new rule that says pets can come to school. So, what is our first lesson, Mrs Creature? It's uh, drum and bass studies. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Dennis! <laughs> yeah, even Mrs Creature's enjoying herself. Oh, this is outrageous! The school's going to the dogs! <laughs> Mrs Creature! Oh, come on, Walter! Don't be a square! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's next, Mrs Creature? Uh, go kart racing. <laughs> I don't remember ordering all these cars. Oh, hello. That new computer system. Are you sure you installed it correctly? Everything's uh, 
different. Well, it will seem different for a while. Don't worry, just do what it says. It is foolproof. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Creature. You're missing all the fun. Mrs. Creature, you have to stop this at once. She's doing what the mayor says, Walter. I think you're just trying to get her into trouble. Walter, I'm surprised at you. of those ridiculous clothes. Hide somewhere. And now hand over those sweets. Oh, genius, Walter. Ha! This is only the beginning. Someone's changed the computer program again. Where's the memory stick? I don't know. It must have fallen out of my pocket in the car race. All right, settle down, please. So... Today we have the history test we didn't have yesterday, then maths, flower arranging, and experimental jazz appreciation. And uh, what's for lunch, Mrs. Creature? Er, uh, lettuce and seaweed soup made from hand picked Sicilian lettuce and baby Norwegian kelp. Oh! <laughs> oh, and Dennis, all your detentions are back again. Right, I should have known. I can't take much more of this. We have to get the memory stick back from Walter. And now, one of my favourites, Sleepless Night by Glass Popper Van Shriek. Chance. Right, Walter, hand it over. Catch Bertie! Dudley! Walter! Dreams, Walter! What are you boys doing in here? Look on the bright side. At least we got rid of Walter's system. Please, Mrs. Creature. No, Walter. We're going back to the old ways and that's it. Quite right, Mrs. Creature. And as for this, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Dennis! Oh, what 
horses. Wow! What a nice pool! Uh, yes! Isn't it smashing? <laughs> How about to swim for us, then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is... Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? Oi, oh, you boys. You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hmm, the ground's too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Need a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! Me old pogo stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha. Uh, uh, the heavier we are, the better. Room for one more. And me. That's right, lads. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made a hole, all right. And we've discovered a secret cave under my garden. Can you believe it? Yeah, there could be anything down here. Including water for our pool. Come on, lads, let's explore. I don't know, Dan. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Dan? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water around here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is there uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... <laughs> Whoa! 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 saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. Do your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. <laughs> Galloping Gators, a piranha, abandon ship. Retreat! Retreat! Ha ha! We've got the Colonel on the run. Now, all we've got to do is siphon off his water. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Oof! Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, well. 
At least it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on. This looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. Emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. It's Slipper! Cooling off with a Pipe and a garden sprinkler. What a cheek. After all that guff he gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the ban? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Known. He's on to us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, you hooligans. I know you're down here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> have gone that way unless oh Dennis left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent well he, he won't fool me this time <laughs> Certainly not. It's not what it looks like.
presenting the Menace Mark 1 Meteor, which will take me, Commander Dende, on the first pedal-powered mission to Mars! Jump in, Nasha! Oh. Initiating leg power! <laughs> we have lift off! Cool! Switching to glide control! a bike. It's a pedal-powered interplanetary cruiser. But now it's useless. Dad, I need a new bike. No. Dad, I've got to have a new bike. I said no. And in other news, Dennis has got a new bike. Dennis, a bike costs money. It doesn't grow on trees, you know. Haven't you got any money? Not enough for a new bike. But you work your fingers to the bone in that office. That's because I love my job. And I do practically run the rubber band and paperclip division. That's what I mean. They can't do without you. Well, that's true. If it wasn't for me, it'd grind to a halt. Exactly. So, ask your boss for a rise. What? You're joking. Ask Mr Scrimp for more cash. He's the meanest man in Beano Town. Dad, are you a man or a mouse? Stand up to the old skin flint. You know, you're right. He should be paying me more. I'll march up to the old miser's office and demand a raise. What? Have you taken leave of your senses? I didn't get where I am today by giving handouts to every Tom, Dick and What's-His-Name who walks through that door! 1,101. Get out! You know what, Nash? When Dad gets back, he's going to buy me the best bike in the... Dad! What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Dennis. I talked to Mr Scrimp, like you said, and he agreed he wasn't paying me the right amount. See? I told you it would work. He's not giving me more money. He's cutting my wages for wasting his time. Oh, why did I listen to you? Remind me again, Dennis. Why are we trashing your house? Because I'm trying to make it look like we're dead poor. But how's that going to get you a new bike? If Dad had more money, he could buy me one, right? And if Dad's boss sees how poor we are, he'll feel bad and give Dad a rise. Listen and learn, boys. <coughs> is that you, Scrimp? This is Hiram Big Bucks of USHQ. Yeah, you're a boss. Listen, drop whatever you're doing and go see what's his name. Works in rubber bands and paper clips. I can't think why Mr Big Bucks wants me to go round to wretched What's-His-Name's wretched house. Still, he's the boss. Whatever he says goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is this that wretched What's-His-Name's house? Yeah, I'm that wretched What's-His-Name's son. Come in, Governor, come in. Goodness, this is incredible. Oh, don't you worry about us, your wealthiness. <laughs> we're poor, but we're happy. Oh, where's me manners? How about a lovely cup of char? Here, take a seat, sir. <laughs> Family heirloom. Been used 23 times, but it still makes a lovely brew. That's awful. But it's the only one we got. Not that. Everything. 
When What's-His-Name asked me for a raise, I had no idea. Look, when your father gets back, tell him I'm doubling his salary. Nobody should have to live like this. Yes! Result! Mr Scrim. What's-His-Name? I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were coming. We were out shopping. Shopping? On your income? Uh, just a few groceries, you know. Really? So, so what's this then? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's the latest thing, a Swiss Army moustache trimmer. What? How can you afford some fancy new gizmo when your family are starving? M must have been a free giveaway. Oh, we're not starving. I'm just going to cook some nice spaghetti for supper. It's only tin spaghetti. I'm starting to smell a rat. You're not really poor. All this play acting was just a sham to get me to give you more money. Play acting? I don't understand. Yeah, nice try, what's his name? But your devious little ploy has failed. Oh, and one more thing. You're fired! But, oh. All right, Dennis. What's going on? Oh, my house! My beautiful house! Dennis! Uh, don't worry, Mum. We can fix the house. And I'm sure Dad will be able to get a new job. The easy peasy. Oh. Ooh. Oh, somebody's dropped that. No one he might need a play flip. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Nobody wants to employ me. Fired from 13 jobs in one day. That's got to be a record. Paper clips and rubber bands are all I know. I was happy working for Mr. Scrimp. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you your old job back. Just leave it to me. OK, Nasha, now we'll show Mr Scrimp how the rubber band and paperclip division is rubbish without Dad. Follow me. <laughs> What's going on? Stop all this nonsense and get back to work! Who did that? Whoa! <laughs> OK, Nasha, here we go. The world's biggest rubber band ball. It's you. What's his name, son? Oh, thank you. Think nothing of it. <sighs> I don't understand it. The paperclip and rubber band division ran like clockwork when your father was in charge. Yes. Pity you sacked him. <sighs> Maybe I was a tad hasty. I wonder if he'd come back and work for me again. Only one way to find out. Step up now. Don't be snooty. Come and try my tooty fruity. Ah, what's his name? How would you like your old job back? I'll double your salary. What? Well, I don't know. I... But, but triple it then. I need you back, what's his name? The place has gone to the dogs without you. Well, in that case, I'd love to come back. Excellent. Jump in then. <sighs> So, Dad, uh, about my new bike, I was thinking 21 gears, dual suspension... Dennis, there isn't going to be a new bike. That's right, Dennis. After paying out to redecorate the entire house, I reckon I won't be able to give you any more pocket money until you're 37. And you can have a new bike when you're 48. But, but, what am I supposed to do until then? You know, it's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands.
Venus waves past the defender. He shoots. <laughs> goal! Oh, goal! On it, son! Pass! Pass to me! That's it! <laughs> We have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, now where did they go? Aha. And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots. <laughs> Takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> do, do. What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralised. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine. Just to be safe. Put, 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 Nasha's in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasha back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasha? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasha. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <laughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No Dennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The boot. Get it? Nah, the boot, Slipper. But I've already got boots, sir. Uh... Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare the... Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Well, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. <laughs> OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Who's in charge of Beano Town? Yeah, if only old Slipper could show him up. 
catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? Well, just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pie Face, you're trying to get Sergeant Slipper to catch you. Gotcha. <laughs> Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. Oh, my tail's fallen off. Right, you. You're... <laughs> Fox One, did Slipper catch you? Uh, oh! Ow! Not exactly. Littering, eh? Naughty boy. Fox One, Fox One, hello. Fox Two, come in. You ready? Yeah, Fox Two ready. Hey, what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um... Um, Sergeant? Ah, no excuses. Oh, ow! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mayor, will you? Into the van. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! <laughs> oh! Sergeant Boot! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? Oh, my! Oh, what a mess! But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4! Go! in the high street. All units to the high street. Over. Aha! A proper arrest. <laughs> I arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper. I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this thug left on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. Uh, what happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learned any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> Uh, 
And remember, Maxim Mulcho Bark Mulch will stop those weeds dead in their tracks. See you next week on Gardens Galore. If Julian Acorn recommends Maxim Mulcho, it'll be just what I need to get my garden in shape for Beano Town in bloom. We're off to the garden centre to get some. All right, dear. See you later. Oh, don't forget Nasha's bath. No problem. Just leave it to me. And now the cup semi-final between Beano Town Wanderers and Drain. Oh, hello, Colonel. What ho? Seems friendly, but don't be fooled. When it comes to Beano Town in bloom, she's the enemy. Now, by the left, quick. Dennis! Mum says Nasha needs a bath. Oh, Dad, do I have to do it? Oh, you know he always goes berserk. Sorry, Dennis, I'm really busy. I'll have to leave it to you. Nasha, you know sometimes we have to do stuff we don't like? I mean... I have to do me homework and tidy me room and eat sprouts and stuff. <coughs> and sometimes you have to do stuff you don't like, like going to the vet. <coughs> and having flea treatment. <coughs> and having a bath. <coughs> I should think you are. Not so much Beano Town in bloom, more bomb size on a bad day. <laughs> what are you talking about, Walter? Beano Town in bloom, the garden contest. Your mother was my main rival, but I'm sure to win now, thanks to you. <laughs> right, Nasha, that's it. We can't let Mum get beaten by Walter. Somehow, we've got to get this garden fixed up again. <laughs> Curly, call Pieface and get over here. I've got a gardening emergency. <laughs> what? Uh, what's with the horse? He's looking after it for his cousin. But ever since he's got it, he's been acting weird. What? Weirder than usual? He won't answer you unless you call him the Pie Crust Kid. OK, OK, fair enough. So, Pie Crust Kid, what's with the horse? This here's my Palomino, Sylvia. Pie Horse, Sylvia! <laughs> oh, what was that all about? She does it every time I say, Hi, ho, Sylvia. <laughs> well, stop saying it then. It's not good, is it? Not good at all, Curly. I darn toot and don't see how. <gasps> uh, what I mean is, we'll never get it back to how it was. No kidding, Pie Face. Hang on, he's onto something. We can't fix it, so maybe we should try something totally different. You mean like. Bigger, better, more spectacular. That's the plan. Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Beano Town Towers? A stately home garden. Exactly. We'll make one just like it. Set smaller. Garden. Stately? <laughs> In a state, more like. <laughs> it just needs an extra something. <laughs> and I know just the something it needs. 
a pinch of down home prairie fertilizer. Manure, my dad says you can't beat it. Hmm. Well, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to the garden? Dennis! What have you done? The garden's your mother's pride and joy. I know, Dad. Sorry. I was trying to give Nasha a bath, like you said, and it all got out of hand. I should have bathed him myself. This is all my fault. Don't worry, Dad. We'll think of something. There's no time, Dennis. We'll just have to face the music. You two can go home. No sense in us all getting into trouble. OK. See you then. Right. Let's be off then. See ya. You're bound to win Beano Town in Bloom, Walter. Your garden looks super. Well, it's going to look even better this afternoon because it's getting a makeover from Julian Acorn, the man from Gardens Galore. Golly, does your dad know him? No, my uncle does. Once he's added the finishing touch, my garden will be sure to win the grand prize. Ha! Here, that's not fair! Let's tell Dan. Hi! Ooh. I mean, come on, Sylvia. So, Walter's getting Julian Acorn in. Cos his uncle knows him. And, and it's cheating, isn't it? Hang on, did you say Walter's uncle knows him, not his dad? Yeah? Get into many small boys. I can feel a plan coming on. As soon as Nasha sees the TV van, he signals to Curly, OK? Then Curly signals to you and you alert me, right? Got yeah. It. Right, get into position. Ooh. He's on his way, pie face. Under control. Right. Ready, Dad? Remember, you're supposed to be Walter's dad. No problem. Delighted to meet you, Mr Acorn. Hi, I'm Julian Acorn. Uh, you must be Walter. Yes. How do you do, Mr Acorn? And you must be Walter's dad. Indubitably. Delighted to meet you, Mr Acorn. We're big fans, are we not, De uh, Walter? Oh, yes. Double indubitably. Gardens Galore is my very favourite programme. Great. Well, then, uh, let's take a look at your garden. Hmm, it's a tricky one, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Hello, anybody home? Out here, dear. Ta -da! Ta -da! My garden! It looks fantastic! Yes, thanks to Mr. Acorn here. Mwah, mwah. Delighted to meet you, dear lady. Oh, oh, Mr. Acorn. Oh, thank you so much. But how... I mean, why did you pick my garden for a makeover? Well, apparently it was all the idea of your little lad Walter here. His uncle called me. But my son's not called Walt. Oh, Dennis! So, who won Beano Town in Bloom, then? The Colonel. The judges said he had a very disciplined approach. Your mum would have won if she'd gone in for it, though. Yeah, but you know, Mum, as the garden had a professional makeover, she thought it'd be cheating if she entered. At least Walter didn't win. Not very likely, Pie Face, seeing as you totally lost control of Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> There's just one thing left to do. What's that, Dan? Nasha's bath. <laughs> All right.
right, class. Before we finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. No, no, no wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Asher, but we're still short of a few vital parts. Swallow. Um, 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 um. Ah, just that ticket. Spick and span. Um, 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 um. What? Who? How? Dennis! So, uh, <sighs> finished making your robot yet, Walter? Actually, I sent my design to a friend of father's. His factory people built it for me. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. He's arrived. Dennis, meet Walter Bolt. A pile of junk. Wait till you see my robot. Hey, Denbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walterbot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good, but what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden household chores. From digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Denbot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp. Easy peasy. Wow. That's cool. Denbot rock. Denbot rocks. <laughs> that is so not cool, Denbot. Look at my car. You can count yourself grounded forever. What was that? Allow me to present Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Close. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> Right, this is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task!
Hey, what was that? It's Wolvenbot! He's all right! No way! That's Denbot! Oh, no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Denbot! You mean a Den Walterbot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school is good! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. We've got to stop it. I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get Pieface and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, Pie Face, and you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie Face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Get ready for action! Go for it, Pie Face! One pie for me. <coughs> One pie for Robert! <coughs> Must go to school! School is good! OK, guys. Don't let me down. <coughs> 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 They work! They actually work! Ow! Oh, a bit too well. <laughs> We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. <laughs> No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom! Treehouse! You are a complete suicide! You are a total swap! Ignoramus! Twist! Sus! Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too! And I've got a reputation to think of! Stop moaning, Walter! If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs. Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. Oh. 